So what kind of pre like what what's is there a minimum here? Because like so there's a there's a wholesale value of thirty two here, and there's another book value that's at, at thirty five, and it can go up to probably thirty six. Yeah, that's just not going to work. What's going to work for you? Uh, somewhere around forty, I somewhere guess. Somewhere around forty. What if it was thirty nine five? Uh, it all depends on what it would run a month. Right a month. Car. So what monthly payments do you have to be around uh, to, for it to work? All right, Pops, we got a customer trading in a vehicle, getting the trade in value, going to monthly payment. What's what you thinking? Well, here it's, it starts off where where the guy suggesting book values to him and the customer, oh, that's not going to work. Going to need to be around 40. Instantly, instantly the salesperson says, uh, would 39.5 work? Well, it might, depending upon the payment. It should, no, it might, depending upon the agreed upon selling price and out the door price of the vehicle you're looking at, not depending upon the payment. Um, but that, that's just a minor detail. Be around uh, 1,030, 1,050. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna let Levent go ahead and get you some monthly payments for you now. Well, I'll uh, right. run the payoff and then I'll see what we can do and we'll crunch the numbers and we'll get you a monthly payment around what you're looking for. Yeah, right? but I probably won't be able to stay around today. That's fine. My wife didn't want to come. Okay, well, we can move really fast if you'd right, like. How fast is that? I mean, we could go ahead and send the application to the bank right now as, as long as the, the numbers work how, yeah. you, how you want them to. Yeah. All right. Well, it ought to be up to her. See, All right. Her. Oh, how much time do you have right now? Because we can move fast for you. I want to move fast. I need to get home. Okay. I have a puppy that needs attention. Okay, we need to we need to go ahead. Who, Andy, Andy's. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, happy wife, happy wife. Andy is your salesperson. Yes, Andy, can yes. you start with a credit application? Can you go ahead and work the the pay, the numbers to make sure it's going to work right away? All right, my turn, Dad. So we are moving fast because we went into the dealership without agreed upon numbers on anything, and we are immediately going to a credit application when we don't have an agreed upon out the door price for the vehicle we're buying or an agreed upon selling price for the vehicle that we're selling. And I hate to say it, but this customer doesn't have any leverage in selling their vehicle because I haven't heard them once say, well, I have cash offers from X1. They didn't go to caredge.com slash sell and get those cash offers. Like, I'm nervous. We're not even ha we're halfway through this video. I'm nervous, man. This is not how you get the best car deal. I, I'm, I'm not nervous. As a salesperson, I'm salivating. Okay. As a salesperson, I'm thinking about that week in the Maldives. Okay. Um, as, as a salesperson, I'm thinking to myself, this guy looks like he's about 70 years old and he's acting like he's never bought a car before in his life. Okay. He has so far, probably from the time he said hello, to at least this point in the video, he hasn't done anything right. He has done everything to benefit the dealership and nothing, nothing to protect his own interests, regardless of whether or not his wife needs to get home to take, what was it, take care of the dog or the puppies or whatever. Oh, my. We'll get you in and out we'll, as soon as possible. You want to come so, to this? I can close this thing in like two minutes. Are you sure? You can do this? You can do this? I can close it in two minutes. All right, then. Go for it. <laughs> go on. Go to a computer. Go to a computer. Pull up the call up the business office. Oh, awesome. Pull it up. Pull it up. Uh, I just want to make sure you can close it in two minutes. That's all. Because I don't want to hand them over to you and they're still here for forty minutes. Have a seat right here. That's Have nothing. Here, we go, okay. When we go to Toyota. All right. Go ahead. It's all right. We gotta move this real quick. Let's go. Time is running out. Time is running out. Why is it running out? I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling, are you looking for sympathy? Because it's between <laughs> and syphilis in the dictionary. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mark, you must look I don't need sympathy. Right? I don't need sympathy. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are in New Jersey? Yeah. George, you want to step in there? Just, yeah. Okay. yeah, I thought you could do this, but apparently you need to watch. Sit down and listen. <laughs> All right, what's the what's the payoff? Darling, that's how you What's the payoff? It's around thirty-seven, but she just sent a payment, so thirty-seven. Okay, we can pull that in a second. Okay, so thirty-nine and any money down? Well, it all depends on. Uh, did you just hear that? For the trade, he was going thirty-nine. It went from it's got to be forty to out on the lot. The the sales manager says. Uh, well, if it were 39.5, five, 
And now he's getting ready to plug into the computer 39. This guy's lost a thousand dollars just by sitting his ass down. I mean, this is this is this is the epitome of doing everything improperly. Um, and I'm sure he thinks he's doing a great job. And his wife's damn proud of him. You always use this side of the keyboard, bro. Okay. This is for rookies over here. 62-6. He's taking a picture of you. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll be at like. Um, you'll be at like. Uh, you'll be at like ten fifteen to ten. How much money down? Anything down? It all depends on what's what's available after you. After so it's with off. no money down, you're looking at ten fifteen to ten forty three. Okay. Okay. With no money down. All right, we right. can do that. We can do that, right? Okay. Right. Okay. Is this a payment or the time of the day? Uh, <laughs> I think it's the payment range, Bob's. I, 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 yeah, yeah, and that 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 was what that, that's a twenty eight dollars spread in the payment range, okay. Um, and and notice, this is how clever salespeople are and sales managers are. Never once does he say your payments a thousand and fifteen dollars or a thousand forty three dollars. It's ten fifteen, ten forty three. I don't want you to miss the local to New York City. Um, you know this is my God. This poor guy is, is about to pay for this entire staff to go on a week stay somewhere. All right, cool. All right, sounds good. Let's do the credit application then. Okay. We're all, set. all right. All right. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you for thank your you. time and kindness. That's good. Yes. I did appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. You did really appreciate it? it? All right, good. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, we got to get the numbers from the I'm bank and we'll move on forward. Camera. All right. I mean, this is lunacy, man. Did out the door ever come up? Did my vehicle is worth this much ever come up? Nothing ever came up. Just $1,015 to $1,000 and whatever it was, $43. That's all that came up. Okay, we got a deal. What? Never. Price was never. He This. This this couple has no idea how much they're paying for the vehicle that they're buying or how much they're getting for their trade-in. Oh, absolutely no idea. All they know is they're either going to make the, the 1015 train or the 1043 train. That's all they know. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you the train they're going to end up making is going to be the, the, the 1059 to somewhere. Okay. It is, it is just, this is the epitome of doing everything wrong in a car deal and concentrating on a payment instead of a price. Um, they gave away everything to the dealership. They, they just said, they just said, here's my wallet. Here's my checkbook. Take whatever you need. You can take it on a monthly basis. We don't care. Take as much as you need. And there was also like the, the time pressure piece. You do not need to go to a car dealership to negotiate a car deal. There's absolutely no reason to do that. You can do all of this from home and then you can try and like, you know, squeeze out the, the little bit of extra juice when you are in person because that's when you have the most negotiating leverage. That's fine. But the, the added time pressure here and no pre-work and not knowing your lingo or your jargon or anything to ask for, this is a textbook. I hate to say, I mean, hopefully this couple's happy with their vehicle and you know, kudos to the sales team at that dealership. They, they did their jobs. But holy cow, this is like textbook. This should be in high schools. This is how not to negotiate a trade and how not to negotiate a vehicle that you're purchasing and how not to end up in a situation where you're paying a thousand dollars a month and you have no clue what just happened. So this is this is a good public service announcement type video, Dad. Yeah, just just sad, just so very very sad.